hello children today we are going to study about class 9th biology second chapter tissue okay we will be studying its introduction and up to plant tissue so first of all welcome to my channel my name is glaston dhanpal i am a teacher of gyanodaya high school and today i am going to explain you about tissue so first of all what is a tissue first uh, uh, always remember that any cell a group of similar cells which have same function when cells are joined same cells are joined like group of similar cells having same function when cells are joined and they are having the same function <coughs> then it is called as a <coughs> tissue now for example when some cells are joined together they form one tissue a tissue is a combination of one to more one to more cells okay so just write it down <clears throat> a group of cells having similar structure and function is called as a tissue a group of similar cells having same structures and are in same function so this is the introduction about tissue so tissue it is present in all the living organisms like plant tissue and animal tissue so today we are only going to discuss about plant tissue it will be a short note and explain i'll be explaining you in detail about it so first of all we will be studying about plant tissue okay so basically plant tissue is divided into two categories okay one is your meristematic tissue which you are calling as growth tissue and the other is permanent tissue first of all write this division then in meristematic tissue these are all called as growth tissue it is of three types apical meristems lateral meristems and intercalary meristems apical meristems lateral meristems and intercalary meristems whereas in permanent tissue it is of basically two types it is of two types which is further divided into two types simple permanent and complex permanent in simple permanent this meristematic tissues goes under uh, they comes under when their uh, growth is stopped then they are converted into permanent tissue simple permanent tissue it is of three types parenchyma parenchyma and sclerenchyma whereas complex permanent tissue it is only of two types they are called as vascular bundles that is xylem and another is the phloem so this is the basis hierarchy or the basic division of plant tissue we will be discussing detail about it so first of all meristematic tissue 
Meristem means growth. Any tissue which is related to growth in plant is coming under meristematic tissue. Okay, so write down meristematic tissue. Meristem means growth. So they are also called as growth tissue. So this meristematic tissue basically it has the capacity of cell division that is 1 to 2, 2 to 4, 4 to 8 like that these are growing. Okay and it is of three types. Earlier we have written apical, lateral and intercalary. Basing on its position, calorie. basing on its position, it is divided into three types. So we will suppose we take a plant, okay, a new plant like this. Okay, this is called the apex. The top level is called the apex. Okay, so this apex is where it is having a very fast rate of cell division. So here the tissues present, they are called as apical meristem its its function is to make the plant or divide the cells through the longitudinal way means higher and higher it will divide and it will form okay then that is the tip portion then the lateral meristems this portion what you are calling is the bark grith that grith is formed by the division of lateral meristems okay the thickness of a plant depends on lateral meristems so it allows the plant to grow and to become thick so it is called grith okay and intercalary meristems these are the nodes a branch when it is connected to the stem it is the node so here here this branch portion this node portion they are also meristematic tissues you might have seen it they are also growing so this intercalary meristems it helps for the growth of branches and nodes branches and nodes so this is all about meristematic tissue you can write apical meristems are present on the shoot tip lateral meristems are present on the grit to expand it intercalary meristems are present in the branches okay so this is all about meristematic tissue then the next is permanent tissue <coughs> it is a longer one so be patient and understand it carefully what is this permanent tissue when meristematic tissue loses its ability to divide cell division stops then it comes under permanent tissue okay you can write when meristematic tissues lose its capacity to divide they become permanent tissue okay now it is of two types simple permanent and complex permanent first we will talk about simple permanent tissue simple permanent tissue in simple permanent tissue we have got three types of tissues okay it will be laughing for you because you will be hearing it first time so first is parenchyma then colenchyma and third is your sclerenchyma so first we will discuss about parenchyma
these are the parenchyma tissues you can see here some gaps are present they are called intercellular spaces and each cell each cell is a living cell so first what we can write all the cells are living they have intercellular spaces okay they have intercellular spaces all the cells are living now what is their function okay its function is to provide provide support okay it provides the support to the plant how the plant is standing still it's it is providing the support and stores food and also it stores food okay it provides support then also stores some amount of food now some parenchyma which are having chlorophyll are called as chlorenchyma this is an important term the parenchyma which are having chlorophyll they are called as chlorenchyma and in aquatic plants in aquatic plants this parenchyma they are able to float so you can write it helps the aquatic plants to float because in their gaps air is present so therefore it is also called as arenchyma okay so again i am telling parenchyma they are present like this they have intercellular spaces their cell wall is thin i am sorry i have forgot forgot in this one cell wall is thin okay their cell wall is thin they all are living cells now they provide support and store food then chlorophyll is present in some parenchyma if chlorophyll is present then they are called as chlorenchyma it helps the aquatic plants to grow uh, sorry to float and hence they are also called as arenchyma okay so this is all about parenchyma then the next is collenchyma the next topic what we are going to study is collenchyma here collenchyma every cell is a living cell all are living okay then there is no intercellular spaces or very less intercellular spaces less inter cellular spaces okay here you can see some of the corners are darken that means corners are or edges are irregularly thickened irregularly thickened okay what is the function now this is all about collenchyma all are living cell very less intercellular spaces their cell walls are little bit thick now what is the function the function is to provide flexibility to the plant 
okay flexibility that means when air is coming it is bending like this this flexibility is provided by colon chyma okay so this is all about colon chyma and also you can write here flexibility and mechanical support by which it will not break without breaking they can bend so this is all about colon chyma then the next is or the last type of simple permanent tissue is sclerenchyma okay when the parenchymas and the colenchyma are dead when they are fully dead then they form sclerenchyma so here you can write all dead cells all are dead cells then the second thing is its tissue is very very fibrous they form fibrous tissues or that is rigid they are like or rigid tissues okay like coconut husk coconut husk okay they form very rigid tissues and they have no intercellular spaces and their cell wall is made up of lignin one substance greater than cellulose it is called the lignin so sclerenchyma it is having only four functions or four points to note first is all are dead cells they are fibrous tissues that means hair like or rigid coconut husk is one example and this is made up of lignin so this is all about sclerenchyma then the next topic we are going to discuss about complex permanent tissue so we'll be discussing about complex permanent tissue so in complex permanent tissue is also called as vascular bundle complex permanent tissues they are called as vascular bundles or conductive tissues okay it is having two things xylem and phloem very easy to remember xylem and phloem only two things are present two types of tissues are present that is xylem and phloem xylem the function of xylem is to carry food carry food from leaves to other parts from leaves to other parts whereas phloem's function is to carry sorry sorry sorry, sorry. i am really sorry xylem carries water and minerals and phloem carries food how to remember this one flow the pronunciation is f word 
so f sound is coming so it is food it carries food from leaves to other parts and xylem carries water and minerals from roots to other parts now what all things it is having it is having tracheids means pipes xylem vessels okay xylem parenchyma and xylem fibers okay and it is narrow these cells are narrow and long because water has to go and mineral has to go similarly phloem is made up of sieve tubes sieve tubes companion cells phloem parenchyma and phloem fibers okay so the four things are there in phloem sieve tubes companion cells phloem parenchyma and phloem fibers okay what it what is its function its function is to carry food from the leaves to other parts of the plant now you may know that the water is going from down to up with the help of this xylem it is only a unidirectional way whereas it is a both directional way means it can go either down or it can come up also both the ways it can go so you can write double direction its flow is in both the directions up and down so this is all about vascular bundles now your half portion of the chapter is completed any doubts you can comment me or you can ring up to me you can even message me in whatsapp and give it a like button also subscribe to my channel and tell your friends share this video so that you will be able to understand more and more and you can get in touch with me okay any doubts you can message me so waiting for your reply comment as soon as possible thank you